In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Git Bash in your Windows terminal. So, before jump or dive into this session, first of all, we have to make sure that you have updated your Windows terminal via the Microsoft Store. So, for that reason, first of all, you need to open Microsoft Store and then you need to search for terminal and you will get Windows terminal. After going into the Windows terminal, simply give it a time to load properly then you can click on launch or if you want you can click this three dot button and click on install on my device or if you get here any update the terminal or update the product you have to click there what would it do it would simply update the windows terminal if you are uh, missing the updates all right first of all we have to make sure that we have got the updated windows terminal Alright, after updating the Windows Terminal, simply open the Windows Terminal and then you have to click on this drop down button and go to settings and then simply scroll down a little bit until you find add a new profile because we want to create a new profile for our git bash. Simply click on this and click new empty profile. We have to give it a name let's say i want to give it name git bash all right now i have to enter the command line so simply click this drop down menu and click browse then go to local disk c drive where you have installed your windows operating system go to program files go to git go to bin binary and click bash.exe simply open it all right we have got our command line and as for the icon, simply click on this drop down menu and go to browse. Then simply go to local disk C, program files, git, mingw64, share, git, git for windows dot ico, icon file. Simply click this and click open. And that's it. You can change the appearance if you want. All right. You can change the background opacity, enable acrylic or any other thing you want. And after then simply click save. Alright. Now you have to close the terminal and open it again. We can call it restarting the terminal. You can say that. Then if I simply click on this drop down menu and open git bash, I'm getting it bash here and I have also got the acrylic bar behind this. Alright. Now if I simply check the starting point or directory i am in c windows system 32 but if i want to open it into any other directory uh, other than this like i want to open it into my user directory what i need to do i need to simply edit the starting directory also so for that reason i have to simply click this drop down menu settings select git bash and starting directory i have to uncheck this and browse local disk c users everywhere my username select folder and save that's it now i have to close all the tabs and open the windows terminal again and then if i simply open the git bash and let me check the working directory you see i have started in that working directory i have wanted all right yeah that's it so that's it for today thank you everyone if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.